things about leadership is realizing something about your 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 capacities, your agency, your who you are, and that you know, you're not at the effect of life. You are really the author of your own life. No one else is going to do it for you. The crucible has a, um, a religious meaning too, but it basically means a test, an event, where there's a verdict. <laughs> when you ask people, uh, how do they get here from there? They usually talk about an event. Uh, and this is true of biography as well. Um, uh, Dave, David Gergen uh, has written a little bit about the crucible of Harry S. Truman. Uh, whose crucible was falling off his horse, leading a company, a cavalry company in World War I, and how that changed his life, because up until then, he never thought of himself as a leader, as strong or physical, or that he would enjoy leading. And if John Gardner could be with us, I remember him saying, he said, I don't know, he said, there were some qualities there waiting, to, waiting, for, waiting for life to pull out of me, a haunting phrase. Now that's what leadership development is all about. If we can, if we are able to understand that process by which people come out of a series of seminal experiences or crucibles and from that learn and reflect and come out of it bigger, richer, and more capable as leaders. So it's interesting for leaders who can always see the, the, um, the silver lining. Right. And, and I wonder too sometimes where, where um, that comes from. Some of the recent research indicates that about 25 percent could be in our genetic constraints. But if you read the work of positive psychologists today, I think so much of it is learned. And a few things I would say that are terribly important here is one that uh, health psychologists have talked about for a long time. They call it hardiness, H-A-R-D-I, but it could be heartiness too. It has to do with resilience, with the capacity. And I think every great leader, every great leader without exception has that resilience. All of them seem to have that positive outlook. Every one of them, with nothing to fear but fear itself, uh, we shall overcome someday. Notice the future part of it. The one thing about holding power is it shows it, like it or not, it, it, it reflects the very essence of who we are.